Okay guys, uh, this little tutorial I'll be going over generating an animated texture to apply to a mesh. Um, okay, so I've just generated a very simple plane here. All right, and I've actually placed a deformer at the start and I've animated the deformer. Okay, just to show you a little bit of uh, warping once we apply the um, the effect. So I'll select my image, uh, sorry, my, my mesh and next up I'm going to go into the hypershade and within the hypershade I will just delete this, we'll create a new um, material so let's go a, we'll try a blin, I'll go blin okay. and what we want to do is look for our image sequence, it needs to be an image sequence um, whether you create that in Adobe Premiere, um, After Effects, um, in my case I'm actually using Unity I've actually pulled in a, um, a movie scene here that I've animated earlier and I just pushed this out as a movie. Okay, so let's have a look for the sequence. I'm going to go into the materials color and click here and I'll find the file. Now I'll search for my file and I've got it located right here um, on my desktop. So it's an image sequence starting from zero all the way down to I've got 588 separate images. So I'll click on 00, zero and this will by default pull in um, all of the images. So I'll click open. There they are. Now what we need to do for us to actually see anything is one, place our material onto the mesh. So I'll just middle mouse drag and drop. There we can see it. And if I play this back now, let's see what we see. Um, so it's playing it but the image sequence is not um, playing, you understand? So let's get that happening. So we'll come back here and if I come to my original, we go to the file, this one here, sorry, that, there, is that it? Let me just have a look in the attribute editor. Okay, here it is here in the attribute editor. So you need to turn on use image sequence. Okay, and now if I were to play this again, let me just play this through. Now it's animated. Okay, neat. So there we go. that. Okay guys, thanks for watching.